Okay, so you have an Etsy store, but how can you connect a print-on-demand platform with Etsy so that you can start automating sales? Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome along to this channel. Now today I'm gonna show you exactly how you can connect Printify with Etsy so that you can sell print-on-demand products. This way you don't have to worry about production, inventory, or even shipping and handling. Everything is taken care of for you by Printify. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into this tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into the process of connecting Printify with Etsy so that you can start automating sales. Okay, so to add print-on-demand products to your Etsy store, we first need to sign up to Printify for free and then connect our Etsy store. This will essentially allow us to automate our sales. You don't have to worry about inventory, producing products, or shipping and handling. Everything is taken care of for you by Printify. And then you can allocate your energy towards marketing and customer service. Okay, so to arrive at Printify, simply click on the link in the description below this video or head over to printify.com and then click on get started for free. Simply answer a few questions about your business and then you'll be taken inside your Printify dashboard. Okay, so once you've arrived inside your Printify account, simply navigate up to my new store, click here and then come down and add a new store. Then navigate down the page and locate Etsy. Now, if you run a Shopify store, you can also connect Printify with your Shopify store. If you're interested in connecting Shopify with Printify so that you can sell print-on-demand products on Shopify, then what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial down below in the description. So go ahead and check out that. However, today's focus is to connect Etsy. Then go ahead and sign into your Etsy account. And once you've logged in, simply navigate down to Grant Access, and just like that, we've connected Printify with Etsy. Go ahead and close this notification. And let's go ahead and quickly add our first print-on-demand product. For the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a t-shirt. Now, it's important to note that Printify is completely free. However, you do pay the cost of the product when you make a sale. So let's come down and choose this product here. Take the time to navigate through the product information and then click on Start Designing. And you wanna make sure that you're picking the right provider on Printify. Now you can see we have all these options up here. If you wanna access a more in-depth overview of picking, creating, and designing products, I'll add a tutorial down below in the description that will dive deeper into creating products. For now, I'm just going to upload an image and I'm just going to add this logo here. And this is the design that I want to use. Now you wanna make sure that you're uploading in high resolution and you can design and create those designs inside of Canva. You can also preview what your designs look like. For now, I'm going to navigate down to save product. If we navigate up to the top, here you can choose your images. Then if we navigate down to listing details, you can add a title, customize the description, and then add your shipping methods. I recommend adding automatically assign a new shipping profile, choose all your variants that you want to sell, and then add your retail price. This is the price that you wanna sell this product for. You can also edit the profit margin or edit the profit over here. Then navigate down to publishing settings. You can choose to hide, and you have these options down here. I'm going to keep this selected, only show in stock variants and hide any out of stock variants. This means you can only sell in stock variants. I'm happy with that. Then when you've made your changes, simply come down and click on publish. Then give Printify a moment to update the status. This refers to the connection between Etsy and Printify. Hey guys, just quickly before we get back to this video, I just wanna mention my Sheetify CRM, an all-in-one business toolkit and CRM built with Google Sheets and designed for Google users. You can simply manage leads, customers, tasks, engage in email marketing, manage your inventory, tickets, and more. The great part is I've made this Sheetify CRM a one-time payment, no subscriptions, unlimited access, and future updates. If you're interested in learning more, you can find the link to my Sheetify CRM down below in the description. Okay, so with that covered, let's go ahead and get back to this video. Okay, so as you can see, after a few moments, this product is now published on our Etsy store. Let's head over to our Etsy store and have a look. And as you can see, within our shop manager and under listings, we have our product that we just added inside Printify. We can also make changes by clicking on this product and we can further customize this product from directly inside Etsy. Now we wanna make sure that our settings are set up correctly. So head back to Printify, then navigate over to store settings. Here you want to add your Etsy store name and your store name will show on the ship form field on the shipping label. Come down, click save, 
and then navigate across to ship from address. Here we want to make sure that we have Printify default selected because we want the return address to be the location where the product was printed. Again, come down, click save, then navigate over to order settings. Here you have the option to enable order routing. We're going to leave that as default. Then under order approval, I'm going to come down and click on automatically one hour. Now this depends on the nature of your store and how many orders that you're receiving. I want my product to be produced as soon as possible, as soon as the sale has been created. Then navigate down to tracking notifications. I'm going to select receive as soon as it is possible. Then here we have delayed orders. You have two options down here. I'm going to come down and click on automatically send to production. Here you can choose if you want to receive daily emails with order updates. I'm going to keep that selected because I want to keep an eye on all my order updates. Then navigate over to save. Then navigate up to the top and click on shipping profiles. We want to keep this as default, then navigate over to branding. And here you have the option to add a customizable insert card to show off your brand identity and to leave a message for your customers. This option is just not available for express delivery orders. Here we have pricing and the card dimensions down here. If you want to enable this feature, package inserts, simply come down and start designing that card insert. And then you have gift messages. Okay, so let's navigate over to wallet and then click on payments. Now remember when you make a sale on your Etsy store or other platform that you've connected with Printify, you'll have to pay the cost of that product in Printify. And to streamline your processes, what you can do is add your credit card or debit card down here or top up with PayPal. And you have these benefits up here if you choose to top up with PayPal. Ideally, you wanna add both options. And as soon as you make a sale, you'll automatically be charged. You also have other payment settings like invoicing that you can set up here. These are invoices that you will receive from Printify, not your customers. Again, if we navigate over to the left hand side, you can manage all your products under my products. You can also add more products and view catalogs over here. You can view all your orders and you can view your store analytics across the different platforms that you've connected with Printify. In our case, we've connected Printify with Etsy. And just like that, you can now automate the process of selling print-on-demand products from Printify on your Etsy store. And there we have it, guys. That is it for this Etsy and Printify tutorial. Now, if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And that way, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.